tells you the why. This gives you the answer of the why. For everything that happens in your life, I mean, holy education, everything. No, I know. I mean, Listen, you read Rand Corporation stuff on the National Stabilization Force, military force. You read Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. You read Carol Quigley's Tragedy and Hope. You read uh, Between Two Ages. You read The Technotronic Era by Brzezinski. You, I mean, you read Council on Foreign Relations public stuff. It's all spelled out, but in flowery terms. And, and then that's what's so frustrating. I mean, that's why the police, I'm not mad at the police. <clears throat> They've been brainwashed like everybody else. They're having fluoride put in their water. They're having GMO engineered. They're all dead. They're all walking dead already. Their kids are already dead. Their kids already don't talk to them and watch TV and play video games all day. We're already all dead unless we turn this around. I mean, these GMO crops by the second generation, they're more than half sterile, brain damage, tumors growing all over their bodies, the rats and guinea pigs. We're already going now into second generations being born under this. By the third, I mean, it's, it's going to be just everybody dying. And so, you know, it, 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 it sounds insane, but I've read all their textbooks. They admit how they've done it. And they say in the textbooks that the fact that the public doesn't care they're doing it gives them a right to do it. Under U.S. Code Title 50, Chapter 32, Subsection 1528, Paragraph B. Uh, and they say, you know, this outlaws secret testing of the public unless law enforcement or research purposes. And they say they can kill us for any purposes of research or law enforcement. So, of course, this is a total authoritarian takeover. We're seen as a plague. And to make it a self-fulfilling prophecy, they've dumbed us down so that we will be a plague. And now we're seeing the roll-up of civilization. Does it, does it concern anybody? I'm glad it concerns you, Ron. Anything else on silent weapons for quiet wars? Everything concerns me. I, I called uh, Bob Kelly. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He's the head of the EPA in Washington. Yes. I finally got through to him. His number is uh, one nine. No, no, we're not going to get can't get people's numbers out. Listen, I appreciate your call, brother. Uh, here, here's the deal. I'm sure you're a nice caller, but we can't give numbers out because people will do it to prank call people. I'm not saying you do that, but if we let people do it, it'll turn into a. Let's talk, now. If I check the number and see it is a public number, and then we can give the number out. But I just can't do it before I verified. Trust but verify, as Ronald Reagan said. Matt in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. How you doing, considering? I'm doing all right. I mean, the government loves me, and everything's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, I just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, I've been a listener about four years, um, first-time caller. But, yeah, I just want to talk about, I don't know if you heard, but it looks like here in Palm Springs, uh, the uh, you know the elite have found kind of a new uh, hiding ground, you know, little castle to do their uh, secret meetings. We got uh, in Rancho Mirage here on February 14th. Uh, Obama is meeting with the jo uh, King of Jordan. Um, so uh, I, I was gonna, I want to try to make it out there to protest. I was gonna see if you wanted to rally some, you know, Southern Californians to protest. Uh, he was, Obama was in town a couple months ago with the uh, the president of China, and uh, there was a lot of people protesting the Chinese president, but I didn't see anyone protesting Obama. So I, I think around here people just seem to, you know. Well, that's because you're not allowed to protest him in China. So the Chinese immigrants and people appreciate being able to protest here in America. Um, but, uh, yeah, people should protest Obama. They should protest all of it. They should protest Obama trying to make it mandatory that all cars activate the tracker boxes for car-to-car -car communication to, to start taxing us by the mile. That story's up on Infowars.com. I mean, it's all coming down. They know people are starting to wake up, so they're trying to push the entire agenda through right now. Right. Well, yeah, thanks. I uh, just wanted to talk about that. Um, do you mind if I give out the website of where that place is? Sure. It's uh, www.sunnylands.org, S-U-N-N-Y-L-A-N-D-S. -N -N it's like a, it's like a little castle. It's all walled off. and so. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, thanks for the fighting the good fight, and uh, keep, keep trucking. Thank you. God bless you, brother. Listen, I'm not even fighting the good fight here. I mean, we are being targeted for soft kill, incremental, ambient extermination. See, people think it's the fast attack that gets you. No, it's the slow attack, so slow, you don't even see it moving until it hits you. And we are under attack. And 
99.99% of us are together under attack. Only fools think they can join with the New World Order and come out on top. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> You've heard about Numana, true American pioneers in healthy, GMO-free, storable foods. Great-tasting meals with no MSG, soy, or chemical preservatives. No high-fructose corn syrup or aspartame and gluten-free options. Plus superior 25-year shelf life and good enough to eat now. But have you heard this? Numana is so confident in our quality and taste, we'll give you $50 just to try it out. Call 888-597-0775 or use coupon code RADIO at checkout. GMOfreefoodstorage.com. Numana, food storage you'll love to eat. You can eliminate inflammation and pain. You can eliminate constipation or irritable bowels. You can flatten your tummy without exercises, and you can make your complexion clearer and more youthful. You can feel good from the inside out. Find out that as far back as 1749, what was able to reverse one man's death sentence and open up 160 spas to dispense this life-giving food. Call 866-844-1047. That's 866-844-1047. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day plus all orders over $49 ship free mypatriotsupply.com is american owned by patriots like you passionate about freedom and preparedness call now 866-229-0927 that's 866-229-0927 or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at mypatriotsupply.com choose the original choose the survival seed vault at mypatriotsupply.com What's making Americans sick and fat? It's too many GMO foods and toxins, destroying our digestive systems, causing poor digestion and suppressed immune systems. A suppressed immune system prevents clear thinking and the ability to fight the corporate and big pharma agendas. Detox now with Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 liquid probiotic is wheat, dairy, and soy-free, gluten-free, and made with all non-GMO certified organic ingredients. Pro-EM1's power is based in good bacteria, live microbes, and all their metabolites, including vitamins, amino acids, and enzymes that support a healthy digestive system, suppress pathogens, and eliminate toxins. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Congress is moving to say investigative journalists are terrorists. We're going to play that video from C-SPAN. And Joy Camp's got a new video out up on InfoWars.com. TSA now hiring. And it uh, breaks down just the incredible activities of the TSA in a dark, satirical way. Right now, let's go to John in Michigan. You're on the air. Thanks for holding, sir. Hi, Alex. Hey, buddy. Hey, I want to talk about Fukushima and... um. Up here in Michigan, 
uh, right over in Canada, they're trying to bury a bunch of uh, nuclear waste. And um, it's kind of crazy because, you know, earlier in the year, the General Accounting Office, you know, the you know, part of uh, Congress, did that investigation on all the uh, nuclear plants. And up here in Michigan, right in the Great Lakes area, we've got, uh, we had four power stations that were all had high level of violations, and they closed down the one in Wisconsin recently because it was so uh, so many violations. And uh, earlier in the year, the Palisades nuclear facility, uh, it's in western Michigan, it actually leaked uh, radioactive water into the Great Lakes. Oh, no, I saw that at the time. It was like, oh, yeah, we release you know, tens of thousands of gallons of radioactive waste. It's no big deal, though. And the problem is these reactors are all 35, 40 years old and rotting. And people say, don't bury it in the desert you know, inside these vaults. That's a lot better than storing it all at the power plants because nobody will take it in the middle of populated areas. So, and I understand people in Arizona and New Mexico saying, not in my backyard, but it's better to stick it out in the middle of the desert in, inside giant underground caves and vaults that have already been built where it's literally going to take thousands of years to leak out instead of where it's leaking out currently. I mean, it's just it's just such a mess. Because everybody just pushes stuff off. Everybody just says, oh, well, we'll let somebody else handle it. And, and that's why we're just not up to, to nuclear power. We just cannot do it correctly. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, they want to bury this nuclear waste in, uh, in the Ontario Power Generation Corporation. It wants to bury um, 400 meters from Lake Huron. Um, 71 million cubic feet of nuclear waste. It, it's not like high level waste, it's low level waste, but that, why does that have to be buried 400 meters from a lake? You know? <laughs> I don't, it's kind of crazy, the, that proposition. It is, my friend. Good to hear from you. It, it just, it's all part of the madness. Uh, they've got the GM health fears, complete nonsense, says British Environment Secretary, the London Guardian reports. It's always nonsense the government's dealing drugs. Nonsense there's police brutality. Nonsense there's corruption in the courts. Nonsense. Nonsense that we want to take your guns, even though we openly want to take your guns. Nonsense. Nonsense that NAFTA and GATT has gotten rid of our jobs, even though it has. Nonsense that Obamacare doubles and triples the prices. Nonsense there's death panels, even though there are. Nonsense. Nonsense you can keep your doctor. Nonsense. Nonsense you didn't build your business. You, your kids aren't your kids. Nonsense that parents should be over their children. Nonsense. No, it's all just this confidence game. Oh, everybody knows Ted Cruz is discredited. <laughs> Do you hear about him getting discredited for criticizing Obamacare? Yeah, he's really discredited now because it all came true, exactly what he said. Alex Jones got discredited, did you hear? He said a bunch of years ago they'd use drones against farmers and people and were setting up a rural affairs bureau with carbon taxes. Oh, they're doing it now. Nonsense. 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 I mean, that's the, the London Guardian. Look at this. Look at this chump if you're watching us on TV. Just another arrogant, know-it-all, frat boy punk who thinks that his BS... You guys give me a document cam on this? Thanks. Look at this photo right here. GM health fears, complete nonsense, says British Environment Secretary. Look at his arrogance. I mean, every study on the, the, the GMO crops that grow pesticide in them is that it kills the bugs that eat it and causes liver problems in humans and, and all sorts of reproductive problems and cancer. And it's an absolute fact, you piece of crap. You think it's funny that cancer rates in England are 3,000% what they were in the 50s, just like here, and that England and the U.S. lead the world in cancer? You like everybody dying, you eugenics bastard? I know who you are, you scumbag, you eugenics cult member, you enemy, you son of... I'm telling you, these people, these people are our enemies. And I'm not trying to put on an act here getting angry. I, I, I literally look at this guy's face. Owen Patterson. I mean, what a dis... Look at that look. They always have this self-satisfied pretty boy look like they've got all the answers because they know how to BS everybody and cheat humanity and literally crap all over everyone with their poisons and then sit there and laugh at us while you guarantee, just like all the Monsanto scientists and the elites, this guy eats nothing but organic and filtered water and goes to spas all day. And I, I am sick of people like this piece of crap.
Just like Monsanto with their Agent Orange killed two members of my family, and I'm sick of you, and I hate you bastards. You are contributing to the downfall of society, you maggot! We're on the mark.